Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. What is good? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys. And today, it is Christmas edition, even though it's only Christmas Eve. Yeah. So in today's setup, guys, we do get a little bit festive here. I feel like we haven't done a WWE action figure setup in a little bit now, but I'm super excited to get into it with you guys. As you guys know, at time of recording, at the day I'm posting this, it is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas, and I'm very excited. We got a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of setup going on that I'm really excited to get into with you guys and showcase for you all the little details and get into everything where I got the stuff if you guys want to do this yourselves and everything like that. Later on in today, I will be posting a video that's going to Oh, oh, oh it, gets, it grinds my gears, Brad. But we'll get into that later on. Let's go ahead and dive into the setup, guys. Let's start off. Uh, let's start off over here. We'll start off over here in the left side, just cause you know, f it. We'll, we'll start over here on the left side. As you guys can see, we have a giant ladder, right? And who better than to receive a giant ladder on Christmas morning than the Hardy Boys? So we got Jeff over here. He looks super duper pumped to to receive this ladder. I don't know why you'd wake up on Christmas morning or Christmas Eve, decide to put on a full face paint there you know, the full face paint job, but uh, you know, he, he went for it. He went for it, and he's got his brother Matt over here who looks super excited as well for the giant ladder, so I figured that'd be a good gift for them. You got the uh, Christmas wrapping on the ground here. Now, we did not go with the typical MDT wallpaper or wallpaper. What are you, a jackass? We went with the uh, the animated Batman. This is Batman for me. This is the GOAT Batman. Animated series Batman, you guys can see right there. That is the theme of the wrapping paper that we went with. We did not go with the MDT Zebra stripes, but that is the wrapping paper that we went with. Not wallpaper. Don't wrap gifts with wallpaper. Next up, guys, we have Randy Orton chilling right here, and you'll notice he doesn't have a very happy face right here, probably because he wasn't a very good guy this year, right? He wasn't a good guy, so he didn't receive a gift, so uh, he looks pretty pissed off, Brad, and he's thinking about going over there and RKOing Mr. St. Nick, or Santa Claus over there. Santa Braun, but it's Santa Claus. Ignore the Braun Strowman head sculpt. It's Santa Claus, all right? Get off me. So Randy Orton is right there. He's pissed off. Probably about to go RKO Santa. That's something I'd love to see. Jesus Christ. If I get an opportunity to RKO Santa Claus, I will be doing it. I will be doing it in a show on a, on a something. He will get RKO'd. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, let's move forward. We have Trash Corbin right here. And what did he get for for Christmas? Not did he he didn't get a he didn't get a bag of coal, Brad, but he got his a brand new trash can. You know, Trash Corbin wouldn't be anything without his trusty trash can for him to sit down in. So we got Trash Corbin trash can and it's looking pretty clean good job trash you earned it this year next up guys we have the full-on santa setup in the middle here now this is a big mix of a bunch of stuff here we have the extreme setup background this works out perfectly you have the red curtain which fits perfectly with the christmas theme you have the black floor it's like a folded piece of cardboard comes from extremesets.com i don't know if the arena pop-up 2.0 is available but that is where we got it it's with the backstage area pop-up 2.0 you guys can see it back there as well this is what it comes with it comes with this like red background. You can go over there and use promo code MDT to save yourselves 15% if you guys want to put an order in over there. They make the arena background pops and all that stuff, but this is what that is. I laid it down. It always works perfectly for Christmas because you got the lights up there with the red. They're not real lights, but they look like it. It's got the red curtain, nice lighting and everything. So right here, what I did was I went to Hobby Lobby and I did pick up one of these rugs right here. We got some little mini trees, some little wreaths and stuff. Over here, the Christmas tree set up with all the gifts. I got these gifts off of Amazon. They're just little ring boxes. So I think I got like 24 of them for $9 or something. Little ring boxes. They, they fit pretty in scale as you'll see throughout the setup. But this Christmas tree I got from Michaels. And I didn't need, I just walked up. It was on display. And I said, can I buy this? And they said, well, it doesn't have a price tag. You can just have it. So that's the favor of the Lord. So we got this Christmas tree. I've been using it for the last couple years now. I wrapped some lights around it. They don't light up, which is unfortunate. I'll probably change that next next year, but nonetheless, that is the tree. I love the way the gifts look up under the tree. I think it looks pretty nice, and it fits in scale with the rest of the WWE figures. We have Santa's little helper, aka Seth Rollins, in his little Santa suit. He doesn't have his hat. I don't know what the hell happened to his hat, but his hat's missing. You got Santa Claus there on the 
throne that Chase sent us from Burnout Inc. I threw a red throw over it because Triple H's throne doesn't really look Christmassy. So I threw a little red blanket over it, put some candy canes with the little skull things went, and it works out perfectly as a little Santa suit. You know, Triple H's throne doesn't really work for Santa Claus with the iron cross and the concrete look. So I went ahead, threw the blanket over it, gave it a little red look. The candy canes fit perfectly in the holes for the little skull dowels. I put the little mini trees, little mini reefs, and now we have a light, nice little Santa's little Santa seat. I don't know, Jesus. So a Santa seat there for Santa. He's got Seth Rollins over there without his hat. Come to freaking work prepared, you moron. Coming over here, Brad, we are getting into the Christmas gift area. So right here, guys, we do have Sting, and you'll notice that we have an array of superstars getting gifts and stuff like that. So over here, we have Sting. He got himself a brand new bat. He may be returning to the ring soon with AEW, so we have him a brand new black bat. You'll also notice that all the tons of shavings of wrapping paper around, that's a nice little detail that we like to sprinkle into the Christmas setup because it gives it a real lively feel. You guys know you, you open up all your gifts with your family. What's always left over? Tons and tons of wrapping paper all over the ground. So that is what we went with there. You also have the open ring boxes and stuff. And let's, I, 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 let's just move on. Right here, John Cena's pumped. He got a brand new big screen TV. And that is the face of a man that's pumped to watch whatever the hell this man wants to watch right here. So he's got the nice big screen TV. He's pretty jacked about it. And so John Cena is very excited for his brand new big screen TV. If we come a little bit to the right, guys, you will see Alexa Bliss. She has a big gift right here. I don't know what the hell's inside. Brad, you also got Bray Wyatt in his Christmas sweater. Was gonna use the theme, but then I thought, you know, uh, I don't know, Brad, I just didn't feel like it fit. Felt like the Christmas sweater, the red sweater with the khakis just fit perfectly in with the rest of our theme over here. I thought it worked out great. So uh, I went with Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt, and I wasn't gonna go with the Elite because it has no details in the sweater. We want the sweater detail, Brad, in the setup, so we gotta go with the wrinkled sweater and the nice collar up under there. Next up, guys, we have probably one of my favorite parts. It's Brock Lesnar opening up his brand new boxing gloves right here. And just look at him, man. Look at him. I think he likes them. So Brock Lesnar has beautiful boxing gloves. I don't know what his reaction is. I don't I don't know what kind of face that is. But behind there, you got some original candy canes. You got another reef and some mini trees. It just kind of added to the festive colors and the background knowledge of the setup right there. So that is what we got going on right there. If we come to the middle, guys. You will see Shinsuke Nakamura and Sami Zayn exchanging gifts or, you know, Shinsuke's got a little mini gift in his hand. Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. Will he still be champion very soon? We may we may have a brand new champion. We'll have to find out. But for right now, he is champion. He's chilling it up with Shinsuke Nakamura in the middle of the setup. Again, tons of wrapping paper and all that ish over here. If we come over to the right, guys, you will see Cody and Brandy on the couch with a brand new weight belt. So Cody got the brand new weight belt, even though he's wearing his white one. Now he can exchange it for the blue one. And I think it would work out with the attire. The rest of the attire's got some royal blue in there. It would fit perfectly with the one he's unboxed right there. Brandy was super hard to sit on that couch. That's the couch from, I think, like the backstage playset or whatever from WWE that we got a little while ago, like years ago. But she was actually really difficult to sit there. It doesn't look terrible, but it definitely doesn't look as natural as I would have liked. But, you know, it is what it is. Coming forward, guys, we got some more gifts on the ground over here, as well as AJ Styles, who last year also got new gloves. This year, he got new gloves again. So he's super excited for him. Good job, AJ. You earned some new gloves and everything like that. So he's looking good. I don't even remember what all the gifts people got last year, but the Christmas setups are fun because they look like an actual gift opening and gathering. And then you have, you know, the different gift ideas and the wrapping paper. I don't know. It's one of my favorite setups we do every single year. So there is AJ Styles. This seat, however, is empty. And if you're wondering why this seat's empty, it's because I still got a lot of ish to do today and I didn't get around to putting someone right here to unbox something new. So I do apologize for that, but I didn't have any more time and I had to, I had to get it up to you guys and make sure that we got it. It took me, uh, it probably took me a good hour and a half to get all this set up. So, I uh, give me a, hit the like button for the, for the effort. Over here, guys, this is one of my favorite parts, alright? So, we have the catering of the Christmas special. So, for the Christmas special, you'll see we got two containers full of candy canes, we got some gingerbread men on the tray, and then we got some trays uh, or plates of pancakes. We don't have syrup, so they're gonna be super dry, and they're gonna probably not taste that good, but they're there, you know? We, we gotta get some mini bottles of syrup in the house, but uh, I think the gingerbread men will be pretty fire, and you can't, I think this is a pretty decent little catering section for, for Christmas. And then over here, we, you know, you can't have Christmas without milk. I also need to get some cookies over there, but little mini gingerbread men, you got some cups, you got some milk and coolers and stuff like that. A couple Coke bottles over there. I feel, I feel like they fit in with the Christmas special with the Santa Claus ads and all of that, what have you, and uh, it wouldn't be milk section without Kurt Angle over here. So number one, Kurt Angle, 
with the milk and everything. I think last year, didn't somebody get the car back there? I put like a bow on the car. I can't remember. Anyways, there is the catering of the Christmas setup, but that pretty much does it for the setup. You got the Santa on the throne over there that I really like. Gifts on the Christmas tree. You got the unboxing section. You got your catering. You got your Hardy Boys and your Randy Orton pissed the hell off. But anyways, guys, I think that is going to do it for today's setup and the video. Again, I am going to upload a pissed off video later on, so get ready for that. Still pissed. Very upsetting. For today's random shout out, guys, it is going to go to Drifting Spear. Drifting Spear says, we love action figure surgery in this house, and that's damn right, Brad, because if you don't like action figure surgery, that's okay. You can come back for other series on the channel. But it's for me in this house, we love action figure surgery in this house. So huge shout out to Drifting Spear for that one, guys, but I think I'm getting out of here. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas Eve and a Merry Christmas in the morning. It should be an upload tomorrow, and there may be a double upload. I don't know. We'll have to see. I know for a fact it was going to be a double upload a week ago, but now it's that's ruined. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite part of the setup, sh 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 setup is, and never forget, do not cross the line, or you will not get anything for Christmas. Looks like you're not getting anything for Christmas. You cross the line, I've been